another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is cycle one, week 18, science. For everyone else, that just means we are going to be talking about the four types of ocean floor. Before we do that, head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. I've created some workbooks that go along with each of these videos. It helps to dive deeper into some of the subjects on this channel. Without further ado, let's start doodling. So like I said, today we are going to talk about the four different types of ocean floor. And the first one we're going to talk about is the continental shelf. Starting from the land, a trip across the ocean along the seafloor would begin with crossing this continental shelf. And most of the continental shelf is located in pretty shallow water that is typically less than a few hundred feet deep. This continental shelf surrounds the land. It is the edge of a continent and it lies under the ocean. In some places it can be very narrow and almost non-existent, where in others it can extend for hundreds of miles. The water that is located above the continental shelf is typically very productive and has a lot of life. And the reason this is, is because sunlight is available in these shallow waters. It is also the recipient of many nutrients that run off from the land into the ocean. Even though the continental shelf is underwater, it is still considered to be part of the continent it is lying next to. The actual boundary of this of a continent isn't the coastline like you would think, but it is the edge of that continental shelf. The continental shelf next to California in the United States is very small. It extends less than a kilometer. In contrast, along the northern coast of Siberia, this continental shelf extends almost 1,290 kilometers, which is 800 miles. So taking these two distances into consideration, along with all the other continental shelves in the world, the average width of a continental shelf is about 65 kilometers or 40 miles off the coastline. Next up, let's talk about abyssal plains. So if we are taking a trip across the ocean, the next type of ocean floor that we will come across is the abyssal plain. From the continental shelf, the ocean floor descends in a steep manner and reaches depths over 10,000 feet. Abyssal plains cover about 70% of the ocean floor and are considered to be the largest habitat on Earth. Surprisingly though, sunlight does not get to the bottom of the sea floor here, which makes this a very deep and dark ecosystem. And because the sunlight cannot extend to these deep waters, it is not as productive of an ecosystem as the continental shelf. Now, these plains aren't all flat. They do include hills and valleys, but nonetheless, they are named abyssal plains. So like I said, an abyssal plain is about 10,000 feet below the water's surface and is huge. They can extend for thousands of miles. And the Atlantic Ocean is the most common place to find these abyssal plains. Most of the abyssal plains are mostly unexplored and scientists know very little about them despite it covering a vast amount of the Earth's surface. Next, let's talk about the Mid-Ocean Ridge. 
So if we come up from the abyssal plains, we encounter the mid-ocean ridge, and this is an underwater mountain range. It is 40,000 miles long and can rise up from the abyssal plains to about 8,000 feet below the water. They trace around the global ocean and include many different volcanoes and is considered the longest mountain range on earth. This mid-ocean ridge is formed where two tectonic plates meet, which we've talked about tectonic plates a little bit in a previous video, but this mid-ocean ridge is formed where two tectonic plates meet under the ocean. And when this happens, these ridges are made up along the ocean floor into a mountain range. And last, let's talk about trenches. After we have crossed hundreds of thousands of miles of abyssal plains and we have reached the mid-ocean ridge, we may then encounter an ocean trench. Ocean trenches are long and narrow depressions on the floor of the sea. These are chasms and are considered to be the deepest parts of the ocean and the deepest parts on earth. There is an intense amount of pressure and lack of sunlight. It is also frigidly cold in this zone. So this makes some of the most unique habitats on earth. An example of a trench would be the Mariana Trench. This is the deepest place in the ocean and reaches depths of 36,201 feet. And that's all we have for today. So be sure to grab your workbook from doodlingthrougheducation.com. Do your four worksheets for homework to learn more about these different types of ocean floor. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.